weird biography. So in the back of this picture, there is some weird biography that is written. John O'Donnell, 1981 through 2065. John O'Donnell was conceived on Halloween. His father was dressed as a woman. His mother was dressed as a man. Nine months and three weeks later, he was born on his father's birthday. John's parents told him he was picked from the garden. He believed them with his heart full of seed, in his mouth stuffed with water axes. As he grew up, he learned the beauty of dead bugs, sticks, sidewalk cracks, bacon, and the flavor of perfume. He drew dinosaurs on his bedroom walls, and with Legos he fought them. He drew ninja turtles in school, and he had his desk was in the corner because he liked to talk and throw things. John wore a Batman t-shirt on the first day of sixth grade. He was reduced to tears as he was called Bat Boy by two eight graders with hairy lips. In ninth grade, John wore a Batman Returns shirt on the first day of school. Once again, he was reduced him to tears by two hairy-lipped eight graders. He attended Gonzaga University in 1999. He lived in Florence, Italy for a school year. There he displayed his art at two different venues. He graduated in 2003, majoring in art with a minor in philosophy. Here he focused on drawing, printmaking, art history, and objects that move by his head. He currently pays the bills with his job as a self-employed house painter. He also is currently in the process of applying to graduate schools. His inspirations include sidewalk cracks, dead birds, the worms that eat them, tacos, incorrect maps, broken TVs, stories, transportation, people that use big words, trapdoors, dinosaurs, people that wipe their mouths with their sleeves, greyhound buses, people named Jeff, books about things or stuff, the letter A, kids that read comic books, typewriters, light bulbs, songs about work, brains perched on necks, the phrase life span at gunpoint, people who are afraid of spiders and people who work night jobs. He passes the time by playing guitar and singing songs about kitties, time machines, machine guns, and famous people who laugh at him. He has a really nice coffee table and misses his mom, brother, cat, and bird that live in Montana. If any spelling errors or typos are found to be present in the above text, please notify the artist immediately. You can also contact him if you want some art or want to see some art in progress. There's a phone number and there's an email. Wasn't that interesting?